start with Sean Cunningham. What's up, sir? Um, I guess as a losing streak reaches six games, I'm just wondering in your mind, is this about the best you've seen your, your guys play in this stretch of games? Yeah, I mean, we came out with the right energy and um, defensive intensity. And obviously, you know, this team uh, with what they do, um, you know, they shoot a lot of threes and, um, you know, they made them, but, you know, we put them on the line too much. Uh, James Hamm. Yeah, De'Aaron, this entire season, you guys are consistently inconsistent, and it seems like it hurts you during these stretches. What is it that you guys have to do to figure out how to keep a level, even kill, uh, like, approach throughout the season? I just know that there's, you know, more games to play, and, you know, in this, in this league, it's always, you know, another opportunity to, to change something around because we play. Sometimes you, you'll have a game the next day. Sometimes, you, you know, you have a, get, a day off you know, a practice and then a game, you know, that next day. So um, just knowing that there's always an opportunity, um, you know, to change what you're doing. Jason Jones. Yeah, was this about as frustrated you were in a while in terms of not getting to the line and the contact you were taking in the paint tonight? Oh, it was God awful. Um, I mean, mine wasn't even about, you know, like me getting there and things like that. It was, you know, the cause that they were getting on the other end. Uh, I'm just saying, if you're going to call something on one end, call it on the other end. Um, and if somebody's trying to talk to you, you know, you can't get in your feelings so quick um, to where, you know, it's not even a hostile conversation. And, you know, you, you're you saying that, you know, don't talk to you and this and this and that and that. Um, and then you're coming down guessing on plays where a ball goes out of bounds and they ask you, you, you don't know what the fuck is going on. And then you just call something, um, you know, at least go look at the monitor or something. Uh but, you know, the officiating is what it is. We have to play through that. And uh, we didn't finish the game well tonight. Sarah Todd, Desiree News. Yeah, and we saw uh, Donovan come over and kind of get between you talking to the refs after the game was over uh, and talk to him. And he was like, you know, whatever happens during the game is what it is. But, you know, the competition was over and we've been friends since high school. I didn't want him to get fined for no reason. So. Uh, is that something to appreciate, kind of that moment, or would you have rather maybe just gotten off what you're off your chest what you wanted to say? Oh uh, no, I mean the way the NBA works, I'm probably gonna get fined anyways for, you know, talking to a ref, and that is what it is. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Don and I are cool off the court, obviously, and uh, you know, between the lines, we're, we're you know we're competitors going after each other. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely great to have somebody like that, and you know, it's always. Um, it's always great when, when I'm able to play against a guy who, you know, I've known since high school and, you know, seeing how well he's doing and, you know, what he's doing for his team. And, <clears throat> you know, as soon as as soon as the game is over, you know, the competition is done and, uh, you know, we're back to being, you know, boys that we were. James Hamm. De'Aaron, Luke talked about you guys still trying to figure out who you are as a team. Do you feel that? And who do you guys want to be, I guess, would be the, the biggest question. Uh, yeah, at times. I mean, uh, for us, you know, we uh, yesterday during the film, um, you know, talking about what what happened in the Detroit game, things like that. Um, you know, we came we, we came together and said, you know, as, as a starting group and as a team, um, we want to be obviously, you know, a team that plays hard um, and, and for us, you know, continue to get better defensively. But um, coming out the gate and setting the tone. And I think tonight we did a good job at that uh, defensively being able to pick up, you know, higher just, you know, it's not even about like, you know, in, in college coaches have you pick up full court, you know, make you turn the guard, you know, three, four times. <clears throat> and for us, you know, in the NBA, that's that's not something that teams, you know, do a lot. But uh, we're just saying, you know, pick up the ball, make them run their their sets, you know, higher than they really want to. And I think we were able to hit them first in this game. And obviously, you know, this is, you know, probably the best team in the league right now. And, you know, they were able to respond. But for us, it's being able to do that first and then down the line, you know, continue to play. Uh, continue to play at a high level throughout the game. And like I said, tonight, um, you know, they took that lead in the, you know, going into the fourth quarter and just never looked back. Sean Cunningham. Yeah, I'm not trying to get you in trouble, but was that the message you were trying to relay after the game, which you said a few minutes ago about the calls on the other end? And did you feel that he was receptive to it or was it, was it more dismissive it towards it? Terrible. He was terrible. And then, when you try to talk to him, he didn't want to say he he act like he didn't want to hear anything or he was too good. But that is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to say what I what I would call him right now. But 
like I said, I'm probably already getting fined anyway, so that's whatever. Tony Harvey. Uh, Dean, uh, Mike Conley, you know, after his first year, after his one and only year at uh, Ohio State, he came out. Now he's what, about 34, 35. He was all-star this past year. And the reason why I'm bringing him up, because he also came up to you after the game, too. Uh, just want to know if you could share anything that he had mentioned to you and, uh, you know, uh, your, your, your thoughts on him as being a professional. <clears throat> Um, I mean, just one of the things is uh, you told me just keep, keep, keep uh, you know, continue to grow as a player. Um, you know, obviously people talk about the all-star stuff and, you know, he, he says that he thinks I'm an all-star. Um, yeah, for me, that's not something I'm worried about, but it's definitely great, you know, coming from a player like him. And, you know, he's been in pretty much every every situation that you could really ask for. Obviously just hasn't been to the finals yet, but um, it's definitely, you know, cool coming from coming from someone like that, a guy who's been in this league. <clears throat> You know, for a long time, been 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 there, done that. Um, but you know, just uh, just being receptive to to anything and everything that you know, someone like that tells me. Um, you know, even when he was in Memphis, you know, he would pull me aside and, and, and let me know uh, what he thought. So uh, it's definitely great having someone like that kind of as a, as a mentor. You can ask, you know, pretty much anything at any time. And you know, he's uh, he's he's always willing to to one listen and and, and give his advice. All right, last one, Jason Anderson. Hey, De'Aaron, uh, Joe Ingles has a, a reputation around the league for his trash talking in it. And it I, I don't know. What, what is the banter like with him out there? I mean, is it is it funny or does he get under your skin? What, what's it like? Uh, obviously, you know, it's different at times. Sometimes, you know, he's playing around. Sometimes he's serious. Uh, but uh, for me, I mean, I'm not necessarily taking it any kind of way. Obviously, other people do. Um, but it's just like little things. Uh, like at times I'll be guarding him and he'd be in front of me and uh, – <clears throat> To where it could be like a touchdown pass or something, or you come up to the free throw line, he's like, uh, I'm about to tip dunk this. Like, it's just, it's just like little things. Sometimes it's funny for sure. All right. Thanks, man.